Remember we said for this, the golfer, you're hitting it weak, high, short, and right. Your club face is too open, so you always fix a problem by doing the opposite and exaggerating. What's the opposite of too open and rolled? Too closed and pointed down. What's the opposite of too open here? Close towards the camera, right? Victor Hovland model. So what we did is you start hip high. We got in there, grip is nice and strong, hands forward. Grip strong, hands forward, and just get used to going hip high with it tilted down, hip high. So club face at the ball, at the ground, swing. I know a lot of people who come in and see me that have these swing faults that if they could just move a little bit better, right? If they had more flexibility, more mobility, we could get a lot of work done a lot faster. But I haven't been able to find an easy way to do it until I saw this Mobility Pro. And what it gives you is a detailed, customized, personalized plan right for you. So once you go through the testing, it tells you specifically what to do. I love that. It's easy to do. I did all this right from the comfort of my own home. Simple little, I did 15 to 20 minute sessions. You could do as long or as short as, as you want to, but you can do hours of mobility, right? It's just a couple of minutes, super easy. It's things that are gonna affect your ability to swing the club better, right? So a lot of those nagging swing faults, there could be a lot of reasons outside of just your golf swing as to why you're doing it. It's how your body and your brain are putting together how you can work. So if you're interested in swinging the club better, improving your swing, something you can do that's easy, something you can do right at the comfort of your home, and it's free to try, then I would try out this Mobility Pro app. I've been using, you can see my score when I started, in literally a month, I went from that 76 to that 93. So I absolutely love this Mobility Pro. I've been using it myself. I highly, highly recommend that you try it as well. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about um, hitting your iron shots better, right? Like stop hitting weak and right iron shots. And this is a topic that came up a couple days ago with a lesson that I was doing with a gentleman who was struggling with uh, his iron shots, not compressing the ball. The ball's going high, short, weak, and right. And I wanna share this with you guys as I think it can help and I see it come up all the time uh, for that problem. Now, the first thing we wanna key in on to hit our iron shots more solid uh, more compressed, less to the right, is understand there's two main variables that control it. Number one is dynamic loft, and number two is club face angle. So in simple terms, we look at club face angle first. I just have this little uh, tool here on my club face to, to show this. If when I hit a ball, my club face is pointed too far to the right as a right-handed golfer, so it's pointed over this way, that golf ball is gonna go in what direction would you assume? To the right. Right? If my club face is pointed to the right, my, my ball is going to go to the right. The other thing is if my club face is pointed to the right and I make a neutral swing, circle around my body, there's always going to be a deflected hit. Like if I were trying to punch someone and compress, I want to punch straight on. I want to hit the golf ball straight on. If my club face is pointed too far to the right, uh, right shots deflected hit not solid. The second thing is dynamic loft. So I have this little tool on here and it points up relative to the loft here, right? So you'll see here with my club, if I make my shaft go back, that adds loft. If I make my shaft go down, that takes loft off. For me to compress the ball, I wanna take loft off. So the gentleman who was in here hitting high, weak, right iron shots, what did he have? What was the first thing we need to fix? Well, right away, we know the club face was pointed to the right and he was presenting too much loft, right? This sort of look at impact. How do we fix it? This is something I give this lesson over and over and over again if you don't compress your irons. The first thing we need to do is address the club face and the second thing is the uh, dynamic loft. I have an easy drill that you can do for this. Club face, there's two things that set up you have to ensure or else the rest of this stuff doesn't work. Number one is that your grip is on there at least neutral to strong. What is neutral to strong? The V between my thumb and my index finger is at my trail collarbone or shoulder. Non-negotiable. Are some good players over here? Yes, for us, we're over here. So this V, here to here. Check your grip, okay, it's something a little bit important. So what we did with him, his grip was too weak, like this, and the hands were too far in the middle of his body. So I said, hey, that's not gonna work for us. That's not what compression looks like. This is what compression looks like. So step one, we turned his grip stronger. V's more towards the right shoulder. Step two is we move the handle forward. And I see this all the time. When you set up, you don't want the shaft straight up and down and your hands in the middle of your legs like this. You wanna have the shaft preset forward where the hands are more inside left thigh and your arm and the club make more of a straight line. So that would look more like this at setup. Here's no good, weak grip shaft middle. Here's what we want, okay, that's part one. 
Now, if you're changing that part, also keep in mind, like that's a decent sized change. Like you might need to literally just hit balls with just that one piece. The next part then to make sure we can press it is where your loft of your club is, your dynamic loft. And we talked with Sam Golden a little bit square to square with this. What this gentleman did during the backswing, not only was his grip weak in the hands forward, he also, like I see all the time, rolled the club face too open. So the toe was to the right of the heel, the club was pointed up towards the ground, and then the club face was pointed way straight across this way at the top. And I said, listen, that's not gonna work. That's too much loft. Club face is too open, you're gonna be steep coming down, weak in right shots. The first thing we need to do is change where the loft points. So what I had him do, I put this little, um, I actually used this same thing here in our session, and I said, hey, when you go back, let's do three steps. Number one, keep the club face pointed at the ball until my hands get to my right thigh. See how that stick's pointed straight at the ball, club face didn't open at all. And then I said, okay, point the club down towards the ground, that keeps it angled down, and then point it towards the camera. I'll do that again. Keep the club face pointed at the ball till hands to the right thigh. Point the club face at the ground. Point it at the camera. And then the next obvious thing is, but Eric, wait a minute, that's too close. Aren't I going to hit it left? No. Remember we said for this, the golfer, you're hitting it weak, high, short, and right. Your club face is too open. So you always fix a problem by doing the opposite and exaggerating. What's the opposite of too open and rolled? Too close and pointed down. What's the opposite of two open here? Close towards the camera, right? Victor Hovland model. So what we did is you start hip high. We got in there, grip is nice and strong, hands forward. Grip strong, hands forward, and just get used to going hip high with it tilted down, hip high. So club face at the ball, at the ground, swing. We do two rehearsals, take your little deal off. You could probably get that on Amazon for a couple bucks. That didn't work too well. And just do a little hip high, hip high first. Grip strong, hands forward, club face at the ball, club face at the ground, just with a little pitch shot. And so that I have an eight iron, I probably hit, you know, 100 yards. That's about as far as I would do that first level. Now I'm gonna record from down the line, ideally, and I wanna see at this first parallel mark that the club face angle is tilted down somewhere along the same line as my back line. So here's kind of my back line, right? This would be way open relative to my back line. This is tilted down like my back line. Club face at the ball tilted down. We did a series of that, okay? Now, this is a 10 second version of what took like 25 minutes, okay? So we did that for 25 minutes. We did that same thing. And then once it was tilted down here, then we said, okay, let's get that to the top. So he went at the ball, at the ground for 25 minutes. And then from here, I said, point your right palm and this little thing on my club at the camera. So you bend back your right wrist, point your palm, and this is the camera, and swing down. Now, if you do this correct in the beginning and you hit it weak, high, short, right, your objective is the opposite. You wanna hit it hard, lower, and more left. So I drew a little line down the 100. I said to him, hey, there's a wall there. I don't want you to go from weak over here to straight. I want you to go from weak over here to as far left, basically, as you can go, or at least left of the target. We put that little deal on, we did two rehearsals, ball, ground, camera, and then we hit, so this is like a three quarter swing. Club face at the ball, ground, camera. And what I'm looking for is to hit the ball a lot more solid. That ball went, what do you think, maybe 40 feet left of my target, right? So 10 yards or so uh, to the left. That's what you're looking to do first, get the compression. Uh, and you should feel more solid. The first thing you should feel is, wow, the ball comes off the club face a lot hotter than normal. Now, once you do this for a while, and keep in mind, if you normally hit weak, high, right, how many times am I gonna say that? You wanna hit it hard and left, not for like 10 minutes. You probably wanna do that for like a month, or two months, or three months before you start to fix that. Once you get used to that and that gets easier, how do I fix that? And the answer is release pattern shaffling. Someone who opens the club face, I'm making up numbers here. Let's say you open it 20 degrees, purely made up on the way, uh, on the way back, 20 degrees on the way back. You have to close it 20 degrees on the way back. So that math adds up, right? Plus 20, minus 20, neutral. Not good, but neutral. Now what did we do? Now we're not opening it going back at all, but I'm still closing it 20. 
That math doesn't add up. It's like minus 20, minus 20. Now I'm too far left. So what do we do over time? Once you get the club face more neutral square going back, you don't have to close it so much by flipping it. You can learn to get the handle forward, have more of a passive release style, and get the club back on target. Club face at the ball, ground camera, with a more passive release like that, should be right down the middle. So that's how you should learn, I think universally, to hit the ball more solid, especially if you're high, weak, right? That's the fifth time I said it. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below, click the subscribe and leave a comment down below. The more activity we have, the better YouTube uh, gets our videos to other people. We wanna help people, we wanna keep making videos for you guys, please do those things for us. Uh, if you did like this video, we're gonna put a card on the screen for a similar video you might wanna watch. Uh, if you do want coaching online, want me to analyze your swing, you can go to cagornogolf.com. We'll put that card on the screen. Thanks for watching.